I just want to laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Laugh Daily Podcast. Wow, do we have a special episode because we have special guest, Caleb, aka Leb Daddy on the podcast. Caleb, how are you? I'm good. What's up, everybody? Oh my goodness, Andrew. How do you feel? Where have you been, sir? Well, I just... <laughs> <laughs> He's no. been all over the place. Yeah, I've been, been all over the place. It's been crazy. Yeah, everybody is... Every day on my freaking... I don't know, can I say freaking? <laughs> yeah, sure. That's not a curse word, man. I know, just the way I said it. <laughs> Every day on my socials, I get comments like, why did you leave more JCU? When are you coming back? Yeah. And it's like, I don't even know what to say. We've gotten that question a lot too. But for those of you listening who are probably confused, maybe don't know who Caleb is, Andrew, why don't you kind of fill him in? Sure. Caleb's a good friend of ours. And hmm, I'm going to say probably, I don't know how long ago it was, a year and a half ago. Like, hey, Caleb, right? You think? No, it was probably closer to two years two ago. Years? But yeah, probably like two years ago. Yeah. We're like, hey, Caleb, we think you would be a great fit on our team, helping us with content, helping us uh, you know, film, come up with ideas, be in videos. We just think you'd be a good fit there. And you were like, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so then we brought him on. We started making stuff. I think you came on basically, it was at, towards the end of when we had the warehouse, and then we got the content house, and... You were there from the beginning of the content house. We we're making content. And yeah, that was last summer, 2020. Yeah. yeah I think it was it was literally right almost exactly a year ago when I left. Because it was in August of 2020. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's true. Because once you left, Hyper came on the team and yeah. he I think he started like the first week of September. Which yeah, was so like it was next like week. it was almost like an it was like the most coincidental transition ever. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. We never really announced it on our like main YouTube channel other than on our member vlogs because That's true. obviously Caleb was in a bunch of videos and then he was leaving. And so he wasn't in videos anymore. And like you mentioned, we've been getting comments all over the place being like, where'd Caleb go? Even lately, people have been like, please bring back Caleb. We're like, yeah. Even more so because we brought back someone else too, Blake to the team. So people are like, oh, it's cool. Blake's here. But still, like, where'd Caleb go? We're yeah. still wondering. <laughs> and now they're both back. We got Caleb on the podcast. Going to interview him. We're going to interview Blake. The full squad is back together. So, yes, sir. Um, Caleb, I'm sure everybody's wondering, where have you been? What have you been doing? Where'd you move to? Because you did move. Yeah, I actually moved twice. Wow. Within the last year, not including moving back here. So, um, yeah, like right before, Right when you guys hired me on the team, I had just graduated college with a degree in marketing. And then I'm from Delaware, which is where I moved to the first time. And I got a job out there and my girlfriend was from there. So it just seemed like the right move at the time. And little did I know, like four months after living there, I'd get a phone call from an, another opportunity down in North Carolina. So I, was, I got to work in YouTube again. And so I was like, yeah, I want to do that. And then a few months in there, I was like, I don't like North Carolina. It stinks here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, but I gained a lot of knowledge. It was really useful. I'm glad I had the opportunity and I was able to use that opportunity to kind of for us to reconnect. And then it just worked out. I could bring that knowledge that I gained and provide even more value now than I did when I was here last time. So yeah. it's kind of a long story short. Yeah. What's been going on the last year? Yeah, it's almost like we lost Caleb, but then he came back even more powerful. <laughs> he yeah. leveled up. He it's leveled like, up. It's like when Superman goes to his fortress and never and disappears, and then he comes back. And <laughs> <laughs> no, you I'm went. Sorry. You went from Leb V to Leb V Max. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we just opened Pokemon cards. So yeah, that was a Pokemon <laughs> reference for wow. anybody wondering. That was good. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> anyways, you're gonna see Caleb in a lot more videos. Um, He's going to be helping behind the scenes with a bunch of stuff. And whenever we have bonus people in videos, we got Caleb, mm -hmm. we got Blake, we got the whole team. You already know, guys. Sure. And Caleb's helping us with uh, the production side of stuff of helping us structure our videos better and just the flow of things because <laughs> we're kind of disorganized sometimes. <laughs> yeah. We just try our hardest. <laughs> so hopefully you'll see some improvements. And if there's not any improvements, yell at me. <laughs> no, no, that's not gonna be your fault. No, uh, so anyways we also wanted to get to know Caleb. well i mean we already know him but you guys probably want to get to know him because on our youtube channel 
you don't really get the opportunity to kind of like ask questions, get to know us personally. So that's what this podcast is for, is to have fun conversations and whatnot. So, um, Caleb, first question I have for you, what is your favorite snack Ooh. of all the snacks? Favorite snack? Yeah. What did, what's your go-to? It could be anything. You could give it's, multiple answers it's, as well. It's definitely Cheez-Its. Oh. oh was, Cheez-Its are... Ooh. Ooh, for Cheez-Its. <laughs> What's Andrew, wrong with Cheez-Its? Andrew is slamming the oof button. <laughs> What's wrong with Cheez-Its? Cheez-Its? They are like... A, they're they like, don't taste real. There's something wrong. They, they're like crack. <laughs> I could do that. Once you have like 10, once you have like a few of them, you just can't stop eating hey, them. Hey, I, I would agree with you when I was back in like middle school. Yeah. But your go-to <laughs> snack is Cheez-Its. You're yeah, saying. It is. Oh, man. I mean, really? I, honestly, I honestly don't snack that much anymore. So that's kind of the problem, I guess. I... I, I guess now, now that my older age, if Caleb I Caleb <laughs> either snacks or he eats too much, he barfs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, if this that is a true story, though. I know it probably will. <laughs> Caleb ate so much on this new video we did. He threw up in the parking lot. <laughs> oh my he gosh. loved it so much. Oh yeah! Shout out Fogo de Chao. <laughs> <laughs> great snacks. <laughs> yeah, great snacks. What would what would be some other snacks or drinks that you like then? Oof. Drinks. Um. I'm, I feel so like old, but I love seltzer water. <laughs> seltzer water is good. <laughs> yes, like, but also like a guilty pleasure of mine is cherry coke. Okay. Like oh, okay. there's like if I have an ultimate meal, it's not at a five star restaurant. It's not. It's literally a spicy chicken sandwich, large fry, and a cherry coke from Chick Fil A. Like wow. that is the ultimate. Like if I am just down in the dumps and I need a pick me up, <laughs> like oh, that is Chick Fil A hits different with a pick me up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's always so hitting different. That might that might be but, that counts as a snack too. I don't know. Sure. See, yeah. my son doesn't eat meals. He will only eat if he call it a snack. <laughs> so it's like we may have steak for snack. We may have <laughs> burgers as a snack. So if you make dinner and you're like, if you here's make dinner, di- right? It's like no, I don't want, I want snacks. <laughs> oh, so you just got to rephrase it. All right, snacks are ready. But. I wonder if uh, our must have snacks has had such an impact on his way of thinking that he's like, man, only snacks are the way of life now. I guess I'm to blame for that. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> anyway, what about peach tea? Oh, peach tea. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say I thought you were gonna say peach tea because I remember. Yeah, you being I, 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 yeah, I was th- thinking, but I haven't haven't drinking it lately because man, there's so much sugar in it. But I I would just kill for peach tea. Yeah. But specifically, Arnold Palmer or not Arnold Palmer, Arizona makes this like very specific peach tea, but you cannot find it anywhere. You can only find the diet version of it now. Oh, I don't, I don't think wanna, I've ever seen that. I don't want to drink diet peach tea. Yeah. But like oh. it is, it's literally like nectar from above. <laughs> like it is peach tea, like anything like peach. Like we had the peach G fuel that one on one of the videos we yep, did. Yep. And it was the best. We, we had that peach it, that flavor. Celsius. I think it was. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Peach Celsius, Celsius yes. was amazing. Yeah. I just love artificial peach flavoring. Not, <laughs> not real peach, not organic peach. Wait, you Art- don't like peach flavor, like normal peaches? I mean, it's I like peaches, but okay. like they're not like my favorite. But like artificial, like bad for you peach flavoring is just the best. It does <laughs> taste really good and tastes nothing like that actual peach. It, it is exactly like, like it's 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 a flavor. It's, it's kind of the same as like how people like artificial strawberries, not strawberries. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not like like mm. you would agree, Andrew. You're eating huh? peach rings all the time. I think peach Ooh, rings. Peach rings, peach rings are one of my favorite candies for sure, but. I'm still, it's like peach flavoring in general. I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorites. Oh, it's amazing. I like grapefruit. That's Oh, grapefruit's good too. Yeah. I like the grapefruit kombucha. Most of the time, grapefruit candy or grapefruit anything tastes a lot like grapefruit itself. Peach yeah, yeah, that's versus true. Peach, peach candy versus an actual peach. There's like, what? something's different. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. So, all right. Good answers there with the snacks. Andrew, <laughs> it's your turn to ask him a question. What's your favorite pastime activities? My so I have to go with two here. Um, one, I've been skating, skateboarding for a while, which is probably like my favorite thing to do outside of working or relaxing. But other than that, I I really got been getting into golf lately. Oh yes, wow, like, golf right. is. I picked it up uh, while I was in Delaware when I was like some me and my friends went out and played golf. But yeah, golfing and skateboarding, what a combo. <laughs> Yeah, they're like opposites. Though, I know. In a way. <laughs> yeah. Really strenuous, and then golf is just... Well, even if you just look at, like, the typical demographic of, like, a <laughs> skater versus a, a golfer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't way. expect it to be the same person. <laughs> it's like you got 17-year-old skateboarders versus 50-year-old golfers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Golfing, I am not good at. But 
we've we've been talking a lot about frisbee golf lately, mm-hmm. which you said you haven't really played. I've never really played disc golf. I've been with my dad when I was younger, but I just I can't throw a frisbee straight to save my life. Hey, we gotta try nowadays. Oh yeah, we will have to practice. It is fun. Yeah. So, favorite movie? Oof, it's tough. Probably The Dark Knight. It's just Batman. or but see, I'm I'm weird when it comes to movies because. That might be my favorite single movie to watch ever, but the Star Wars original trilogy mm-hmm. is probably my favorite just cr- movies of all time. Like if I had, if I was stuck on an island, I'd pick them over probably The Dark Knight. So I guess I, can't, I don't know if I answered that question correctly. You, you answered it incorrectly. Yep. <laughs> We're going to have to redo that I just, question. I just, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm the top. <laughs> I don't know. I just love movies. I don't, it's hard for me to, I have a favorite movie like, it changes every year. I feel like. I don't know, the new the new movie though coming out. My my new favorite Spider Man and No Way Home. Or oh, wow. is that how you say it? No Way Home? No Way Home. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Anyways, that trailer just came out, guys, and fans watching. <laughs> Did you guys watch it? Yeah. Uh-huh. It like it broke Avengers Endgame records for most people like watching the trailer in twenty four hours. Did it really? Yeah. Dang. But it's um, it's only because Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield might be in it. Now, where do you get that? information from because the multiverse they brought back the green goblin and doc ock from sam raimi spider-man from 2003 and electro from andrew garfield so it only makes sense that they're going to be in it too so there's going to be three spider man yes multiverse it's going to be like the miles morales cartoon but in real life i did not see that still Oh my! You haven't that's, seen that I know, yet. It's one Sorry. of the best Spider-Man you, movies you, of all time. You, you it has that, Post just... Malone and singing in it. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to explain. There's the three different Spider-Man. <laughs> they're all the same, or are they different? No. So it's they're a multiverse. They're multiverse. So they're three different actors. So they're basically like three different universes that of Peter of Peter Parker. Okay. So they're all three going to be. They're going to come to the same universe. They're going to be in Tom Holland's Spider-Man universe. I see. But they're going to come from their universe. So they're not all three in the same world from the same place. So Miles Morales is going to be cartoon mode in the new one? (laughs) I don't think he's in it. I don't think Miles Morales is in it. (laughs) But I I am hoping he is. But in the last last Spider-Man movie, they did talk about... um, Childish Gambino um, in the movie says talks about his nephew, Miles Morales, who's a kid at the time, so he won't be in the movies yet, but I'm sure he will be. They hinted at it. Okay, so out of all these Spider Man, Easter egg there. Who's your fave? Oh, Tobey Maguire. He's my only Spider Man. <laughs> he's your Spider Man. Tom Holland's pretty good though, and Andrew Garfield were good. No, but I think Andrew Garfield's definitely in the on the lowest uh, ranking for sure. For sure. Anybody out there, you can't put him higher. Uh-huh. Andrew Garfield. Yeah. yeah. T- Tobey mean, Maguire. He was okay, but yeah. Tobey was an OG. Tom Holland's done great. Yeah. So honestly, Tom Holland is probably the best when it comes to actually looking like a high schooler. <laughs> like right. Toby Maguire was supposed to play like he was playing like a 17, 18 year old in the movies in 2003. He looks 30. Yeah. But I guess because I was a kid when this came out and the, the, the effects were insane, it's just so nostalgic for me that he's who I want to see on the big screen. The suspension of reality. I haven't really seen Toby in any. Movie. He, was in, he was in The Great Gatsby. <laughs> that, like years ago? Yeah, it hasn't been anything recently. But yeah, it's like, uh, where's he been? He probably made a lot of money and was like, I'm out. He's chilling. I wow, he, I think he had to go to rehab. Can we say that? <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, know. if that's what he did, then oops. <laughs> then <laughs> oops, really man. I don't, I don't know. But if he's back, welcome back. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't can't, get out. Can't wait to see you in Spider-Man No Way Home. Please hit me up for VIP tickets. Yeah, well, we'll confirm when the movie comes out if your theory is true. <sighs> I hope so. I, I want to see Tobey Maguire so bad. Yeah, that movie's probably going to be big. Oh, it's, it's going to be. I, I could see it. Breaking box office records, but the hype for Tobey Maguire. They should never reveal until the movie itself. Yeah. And I think it'll break Strategy $2 billion. Right there. Are two. we doing a uh, midnight premiere with the boys? Yes. yes. Oh, heck Wait, yeah. Wait, when is it coming out? I don't know. Uh, it's December 17th. <laughs> oh, December 17th. So, this, so I'm, I'm <laughs> still probably, it'll probably be like a midnight or like even like an 8 p.m. showing on the 16th. That's how they do it now. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be sick. So definitely a, a, a premiere. We have to go to the premiere mm-hmm. after you watch Spider-Verse. Yeah. yeah, I'll watch that soon. Please. Have you seen the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man? Yeah. The Hood McGuire Spider-Man? Yes. I just haven't seen Miles yet. Have you seen Tom Holland Spider-Man? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's the only one I'm missing right now. <laughs> Arguably so, the best one. Oh, yeah. Man. 
Yeah, at first seeing the trailer, I just wasn't necessarily interested. I was like, I don't know about this one. But after hearing you saying it was pretty dope, I was like, well, guess I gotta watch it. Oh, yeah. So now that we're learning more about Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. On this That's a long segment. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite YouTuber aside from us? Oh man, good question. I would oh. actually it'd be cringy if you said us. Oh man, um, I will allow it. You can allow. It. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be cringy. <laughs> just I just kidding. probably Cody Co. Okay. Yeah, I like yep. I like watching his content a lot. It's just easy to easy to watch, and he's just really funny. Yeah. Him or either Cody Co. or probably drew gooden i really like watching drew gooden's like reviews of movies it's just easy watching and it's just fun fun to hear him just joke around and give his perspective on stuff yeah mm-hmm. i like drew gooden a lot as well yeah he's really his funny newest video i was watching is really funny yeah um that's good man well you got any other questions for caleb for the audience can't remember you can't remember <laughs> oh, you man. got any questions for us ever since you've been gone you mean you've been gone in here do you are you like been dying to ask us any questions <laughs> Yeah, how much did you guys miss me? Um, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, we did miss you a lot, but I have a question for you in okay. in regards to the YouTube stuff. Were you surprised now that you're back on the team how much the team has grown? How do you feel about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's been awesome to see how much the team's grown like cuz but when I left, it was literally just us three and Rick, <laughs> yeah. like literally Rick, the editor, yeah. Rick, the editor, <laughs> the, yeah, which one. is that jerks in Hawaii right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He should be at work. He should have invited us at least. Yeah, Aww. exactly. <laughs> Having but, fun with his wife <laughs> and stupid kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, um, no, I'm glad he's finally taking a vacation for the first time in 15 years. <laughs> for real. Yeah. Can you believe that guys? <laughs> Rick. Believe what? Go. Can you believe Rick has not taken a vacation? Like, he told us he took his honeymoon in Colorado. We all live in Colorado. <laughs> mm-hmm. He hasn't gone out of the state. Well, he's gone out of the state, right? Well, he's Yeah, he was saying he hasn't gone on vacation, like, with his wife yeah. since his honeymoon. Yeah, vacation. Now, 15 years ago? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So, guys, in the newest More J. Stew video, just go comment, Rick, I'm glad you're taking a vacation with your wife or some sort of comment. And don't be surprised if Rick somehow misses his flight, has to spend more time in Hawaii. Like, Man, <laughs> what have I been doing my whole life? <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> Were you nervous coming back, Caleb? Um, yeah, a little bit. I think <laughs> I think I was just a little bit nervous because because the team's grown and like the standard has kind of risen. That like I'd be on camera again, or I would do something, and it would just be like. Wow, he's not funny anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? Wow. No, I mean, I wasn't too nervous, but that's like the little stuff that probably crossed my mind was like, oh no, I'm going to suck. Might be different, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. But no, it's been, it's been crazy seeing the team and like just seeing how productive it, the thing, everything is and just taking everything to the next level. Just seeing how much, like how much the videos have progressed has been really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and we're building that warehouse. So that's yeah. going to hopefully level up the content, especially for winter days. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, because, um, yeah, last winter, there have been many video shoots that we tried to do, and it was just like below zero outside and snowing. And you're like, I can't breathe. Nothing, we have to get this video done. <laughs> nothing was worse than that uh, overnight we did from Home Depot. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, my gosh. And we literally had almost had frostbite. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. It was like... It was way below in the negatives. <laughs> that one did so well, though. I know, but it was crazy. <laughs> That's when we had Matt. Yeah. Z- yeah. Zelios was in the video. <laughs> Man, the good old days, but we're excited what? about the future. Yeah. What was time. your favorite video that we did back Ooh. then? I think the most fun was um, probably the Amazon overnight. Uh, for me, uh-huh. I think because I wasn't even there. I know. <laughs> I was about to say, it's like, not, it has nothing personal. <laughs> I think it was just fun because, like, I had no choice but to take on like a, a slightly bigger role in the video. Yeah. So it was just a lot of fun, like having to just like goof off twenty four seven for the entire like twenty four hour period or whatever. And, right. And it was just it was just fun in general, like having to be smart about what you buy and mm-hmm. genuinely trying to survive. It was like it was pretty fun using the life straw to drink out of a toilet. That was so I, gross. Really funny to watch. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Didn't we start budget challenges with you? Yeah, yeah. 
That's Caleb, crazy. Caleb yeah. was there for the original the OG Brain budget Blast. challenge. <laughs> now every YouTuber does budget challenges. Uh-huh. <laughs> it seems like we're kind of transitioning away from them a little bit. In a way. Or at least in, I would say in a way, sure. I would say we just want to like refine them, make sure we do them right and when we need to do them. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's only so many ideas you can do budget challenge wise anyways. Ah, oh, guys. It's a good time over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Guys, you remember the first budget challenge? Because we went to Ikea because we were getting furniture. <laughs> and it took like literally way too long. Oh and my we're like, gosh. there's no way we were able to like finish a video today. And we got back. <laughs> and we always stop work at 5 p.m. And it was like 3, maybe 3.30. And we're like, okay, we have this like kind of like base concept. So we just full sent it. <laughs> we shot the whole video in an hour and a half. <laughs> Is it the the movie theater budget challenge? Yeah, yeah. With Paul Blart. <laughs> yeah, that yes. was crazy. I can't believe, it. and it ended up being like a five million. It's like that five million views. Yeah. Like, and they're like, "Dude, this took off. Let's do more of yeah. them." And at the time, we we're like, we literally can't think of another idea for a budget challenge. And the best thing we had was a hike. <laughs> and then, <laughs> but it got, it's and then that one boosted, it blew up. It's so oh, confusing. Man. But yeah, it was just. I always think about how funny it is that after those two budget challenges, we're like, well. We're out of ideas. <laughs> we can't do. We can't do any more budget challenges. What other budget challenges could we do? We just had no ideas. Because at first it's like budget challenge hike. Just to like, how is that a video? <laughs> but but it it turns out pretty well. But it's, now it's like any idea we can almost turn into a budget challenge. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of annoying back then, like how those ideas just blew up. I wish we would have known that. I, like when I think about like, oh, we're gonna we have no ideas. Yeah. Like we didn't really spend much time thinking about. It. Like you said, we sh- shot it an hour and it just blows up. And some of these ideas we've done lately, we spend like days on. <laughs> and it's like, oh, well, that didn't blow up. Why does this movie theater budget challenge just blow up all of a sudden? Oh, and man. now this series is like our one of our top I, series. I think we were just so caught off guard by how successful it was that we were just like, whoa, and just it like it was so like we're dumbfounded that we just kind of were like cool. Let's and we'll just do something else. <laughs> yeah. Like you just didn't, you didn't process it. And then when you go back and look at it, it's like, holy crap. Like the title and thumbnail was just so good. Yeah. Like I had to True. see what they did. And then the content was funny too. Yeah. Yeah. It was just everything about it was such a good video. You just didn't think about it till it was after the fact. Yeah. Cause there wasn't like a lot of people doing, you know, mm-hmm. this cheap versus expensive like concept. Yeah. And we like definitely came up with like the budget challenge, like that like, <laughs> type of like that genre. Ooh, I might change my answer on favorite video now. Uh Oh, the video of the uh, gaming rooms budget challenge. Oh, when I had the bathroom. Yes. Oh, yeah. That was a lot of fun. Now that I think about it. Yeah. So that one, def- I think that one ties Amazon. I just want to throw that on there, throw <gasps> the that out bathroom. there, so people can go check it out. Yes. <laughs> well, I think those budget challenges back in the day specifically were so fun because it was such a f- new idea. No one had done. Yeah. That. It was just we had so much freedom to just goof off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of fun and yeah, fresh. They were really goofy ideas. What's gonna be the next series? I know one of you have the have the answer for that. That's Caleb's job now. Yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. <laughs> oh. So stay tuned, y'all. <laughs> it's going to be even better than budget challenges. Yeah. Oh, you promise, Caleb? Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> as long as you guys watch and get it to 10 mil plus views. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's why it's so cool. Thank you guys for watching and listening to this podcast, our videos. We wouldn't be here without your support. Caleb wouldn't be back on the team if you guys didn't continue to support our videos. So we appreciate you more than you know. So thank you. Totally. Uh, we do have some YouTube news to go over. You're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. We have a few activities. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> we have never done this on the podcast. YouTube news. Drew. So first. Oh, never mind. Drew. <laughs> what? Drew. I was going to say something, but Drew. Ah. Drew, you don't have to. What I was thinking, but I didn't say. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We can move on from Drew. Okay. Next time you can Agreed. talk about it. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, I wish we had a uh, kind of like YouTube news button. Like, da, 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 da. it's time for YouTube news. <laughs> yeah. What do we got? Okay, I'll start with the uh, first story. Our good friends, the Dangy Bros, have some big news on both of them, Jeffrey and Chris. Have children now. Nuh-uh. They Whoa. literally both basically got pregnant with their wives the same time. <laughs> yeah, they got pregnant? Well, like they as in their, <laughs> their wives. That was a weird sentence. <laughs> oh, man. They got pregnant with their wives. 
man. <laughs> it was a, around the same time frame that their wives became pregnant. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that's that's how you word okay, it. Okay, my, my apologies, guys. <laughs> but with that being said, they also gave... You just... <laughs> they gave birth? Not... They, <laughs> ah, man. Chris's wife, I think they gave birth like a week ago. And oh, I think see, he said they. Chris's <laughs> wife? You said Chris, Chris's wife, they gave work. He gave <laughs> I did not say that. That's okay. What are, you, are you okay? All right, we'll start over. <laughs> Let's refresh this. Sorry. Welcome back to YouTube, YouTube News. News. Chris and his wife <laughs> gave birth like a week ago. <laughs> and then Jeffrey and his wife also had a baby a couple days ago. So basically within seven days, they had babies. Wow. Oh, thank you. Oh, I don't like news. <laughs> <laughs> Never going to be a news anchor. <laughs> We're all growing up so fast. Guys, congratulations. We've known you for a while. I'm not even sure if you're listening to this podcast. I don't know why you would be. <laughs> oh, what? what? They're big fans. They got better me. things to do. I don't know. Changing diapers and getting puked That's on. what I'm saying. <laughs> they got to run their channel and take care of this a new family. Yes. So You never know. This oh, might yeah. be on the background when they're oh, trying okay. to rock little Timmy to sleep. or <laughs> <laughs> Little Timmy is his name, huh? <laughs> Either way, guys, we're, we're super excited for them. Um, me and Andrew... Remember those good old days when we had our first kids? Wow. Yeah, I can't. Crazy times. I, I remember when I first got my dog. How was that? It's a, it's a lot, lot to take care of. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. I'm, I'm sure it's almost the same as a kid. Basically identical. They, yeah. they, they puke and poop, so. Yeah, like, it's what? definitely a, a lot of work, but, <laughs> man. Yeah, I couldn't imagine having a kid, so, yeah. Congratulations <laughs> to them, and I know it's going to be a lot of work, but they seem like they'll be pretty awesome dads, so. Yeah, they've That's changed true. their schedule just a little bit. If you guys haven't noticed, they went down to one upload a week uh, because of this transition. Um, but now that everything's been said and done, maybe they're going to start going full speed ahead. Maybe. I feel like when we uh, each had babies, we took like a week off. I feel like at a certain point, it's like the mother starts getting a rhythm and like super newborn babies don't really do that much. You kind of like rock them, feed them, and then they're just kind of blobs. So it's like, you, it, it, I feel like it's a little easier to kind of like what, get, get into the rhythm. What and, age do they start to become uh, a little bit more work? Uh, well, well, there's always, yeah, about, yeah, always about, about one year old the rest of their life. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. It, it's never going to stop. Yeah. It just changes form. Uh huh. But. So that is the uh, top story of the day, but we have a few other stories. What's the next story, Andrew? Um, oh, we have uh, another good YouTube friends, the Ireland Buddies. They <laughs> took a giant road trip, and they moved to L.A. I think they're going to be there like a year uh -huh. minimum. I, I actually don't know why. We haven't like talked to them about like the super details of like why L.A., but I mean, obviously you know, tons of creators live in L.A., and there's usually more opportunities for certain things, so I don't know what exactly they're going to pursue or what their vision is for LA, but I'll have to have them on the podcast, ask them some yeah. questions. Yeah. I would assume it's just for connections or you could probably do a ton of collaborations with people. Yeah. It's super yeah. helpful. So from the looks of it, they've moved in with like a few creators, I think at this big house, mm -hmm. but I guess kind of like a fun experience for them while they're still young, yeah. like move out there. Yeah, they, sure. Cool experience and cool experiment. If it doesn't work, Hey, move back to Florida. That's where they're from, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Did you know me and Justin talked about moving to L.A.? No, uh When? That was a like, long time ago. Like, uh, I think we were... Before not, before families and yeah. children? Yep. Yeah, no children for sure. Yeah. I don't know why we did that. You know what we could <laughs> You know what we could move to? Where? Hawaii. And go see Rick. <laughs> just, <laughs> let's, just, let's just go move there and we'll just stay. <laughs> hey, Rick, that'd be pretty sweet. Don't yeah, come back, be, Rick. Don't come back. We're coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, well, you haven't been to Hawaii. Neither I, of you I've guys. Never I've never been. I want to go Hawaii. so bad. I want to go so bad. We should all make a big hey. family trip Dude, out there. We're gonna go to, to Hawaii, Hawaii soon. soon. It's so <laughs> sick. It'd be a lot of work to move everybody out. There, no, it would, it would I definitely mean, be a fun. I love Colorado though. It's, it's yeah. definitely a fun place to be. But it would be really cool just to get the whole team or just like everyone who got there for just a week. Yes, we gotta hit. We gotta hit a benchmark in views though, and then we'll go out to Hawaii. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We did. Oh, let's tell them about ooh, the ooh, deal we ooh. made with everybody. Oh, yeah. That was the beginning of the year, though. But we're doing it yeah. for 2021. We're doing so, it for 2022. Yep. We're running it back because I don't think we're going to hit our goal. But <laughs> definitely don't think. Unless 
everything just happens to Unless just the go new bonkers. Series, we can, this new series is <laughs> close people out the water. Mil each yeah. <laughs> so here's the deal, guys. We told our whole team that if we collectively on YouTube get a billion views for the year, everybody on the team gets a Tesla. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So watch all the vids a million times because I want a Tesla. And I well, think right now we're up to around 350 million. That's like it's all almost channels? September. I think. Including Facebook? I think. Because I think more J2 is like at 300. So then that leaves 50 million views for other stuff. Yeah. Maybe we'll yeah. say we'll say three six. I mean, a three third of the way. It's not horrible. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, we and it's, it's only August, September, October, November, December. We got four months. Four months. I think to blow the world away. Next year, it's definitely more possible, oh, especially because yeah. guys, we just started uploading on Facebook. We're uploading like basically every day on our Facebook page, YouTube videos, and uh, the other week. We had a video on our Facebook page get like 20 million views or something. I don't know what it's at right now, but what? Yeah. I think it was like 21, 22 million. We haven't had that many views on a video on our YouTube channel in years. And Facebook all of a sudden just wants to blow up a video we've already uploaded on our YouTube channel. Just pop off 20 mil. Yeah, it's crazy. So, <coughs> whoa. Holy so, wow. He just got so like amazed. Wow. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. If we have 2022. Like that with Facebook and our YouTube channel, it's mm. possible. We're all going to be very Teslas. And once I'm telling you, once that new series drops, and we're going to be hitting a few mil every video. What Tesla is your favorite? Oof, I'm going Tesla Model Y. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just like them. Uh-huh. Ooh, can I get a Tesla truck, or is that out, is that out of the question? No, I'm getting one. I have a pre-order for one, so whenever they start making them, <laughs> it's coming in. It's been like two years. Yeah, I think I reserved it in November of 2019. Holy crap. What is the taking so long? Well, there's this thing called COVID. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that thing. Stupid. Mm. Well, huh? next uh, topic. Sure. <laughs> we she still is. got more YouTube news, guys. Don't look away yet. YouTube news. Jake Brought to you Paul. by... Oh. <clears throat> Jake Paul is boxing... What is his name? Tyrone Woodley? Lamar Woodley? Yeah, Sh- Shailene Woodley. Really? Yeah. Never heard of him. It's <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> oh, oh my! It's the it's the girl from uh, what's those movies called? She dates Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback. You don't know who that is. Whatever you know, what I'm talking about. People watching, I'm sure y'all know who Shailene Woodley is. But that's not who he's yeah. boxing. Yeah, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I <laughs> even brought her up. <laughs> Because it's a Woodley, it's a uh, wrestler guy. A UFC, I think. think. UFC, man. Is he ex-UFC? Look, I don't know much <laughs> about him. All I know is he is yeah. boxing you know, him. You know who uh, knows a lot about this is Blake. Blake would be a good resource. Uh, she, but we'll be asking him. We will. This That that fight is this Sunday. Sunday. I, po- we try to upload podcasts on Sunday, so we'll just say, it's tonight. Uh-huh. This- so <laughs> who do you guys think is going to win? Oh, I, I hope... Woodley knocks the crap out of Jake Paul, but it is, it is a fun story. Like if Jake Paul does win, it's kind of fun just to kind of see like someone who shouldn't be winning these fights, someone who's never expected to kind of do this stuff. It, it is regardless, it's definitely going to be entertaining. So true. Did you did you watch the Logan fight? I did watch the Logan Paul. fight. You did too. I did, and me as well. Do you yeah. think it'll be a similar outcome? No, I I think Jake's going to be a lot more aggressive. I mean, also, you got to think, Jake Paul was fighting probably one of the greatest boxers to ever box ever. Or Logan Paul Logan, was. Yeah. Logan was fighting. Yeah. But yeah, that fight was kind of boring, though. It was, yeah. Not much punching, a lot of dodging and hugging. Yeah, but also, yeah, I, I don't know. I think, I think Jake Paul is going to go in aggressive, which would be fun to so. see, but it could also so. cause him to get... <laughs> yeah, I hope Jake Paul gets knocked out. <laughs> yeah. I do too. I think that that would make for the best possible outcome. Yeah. But I hope it is like you're saying that he's just so aggressive to make it a good fight. Yeah, you know? yeah. I don't want to see none of that defensive stuff like his brother. Yeah. I want it to be super entertaining, like yeah. Jake Paul just taunting him during it. And yeah, I, I want Jake Paul to come out like just so cocky and like confident, and then like really round two, pff, just KO, blast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a, it's like a left yeah. hook. We want to see a big black eye, maybe a tooth go flying, bloody nose. A few good hits, not like an instant <laughs> knockout, you know? 
Yeah, yeah. I want to KO in two seconds. Yeah, I want I want round <laughs> one. I want round one to be just like haymakers back and forth, and round two is just a mean left hook. <laughs> Flatline, wow. Jake Paul. Not flatline. Means he's dead. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Flat backed. He's flat backed on the on the mat. Uh-huh. Holy Pancaked. crap! They got morbid quick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. Um, I mean, we're not into really boxing. Blake is. Blake but and Rick. It's definitely intriguing watching YouTubers get into this arena. Watching Nick Ireland win his boxing match. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. So that was cool, but. Man, just seeing these different YouTubers get in these different arenas. It's fun to watch and entertaining, at least. Caleb, would you ever box somebody? Depends how much I'm getting paid. <laughs> oh, so it's about the money. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, I <laughs> I would think I would get knocked out in two seconds. I would be no good. I mean, maybe if I trained for it. It'd be, I don't know. Well, but if you're getting... uh, well, I was about to say, because you would probably not be allowed to wear your glasses. Yeah, I have to put contacts in. Yeah, that would but that be. would be that wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just I'm I don't see myself as a good fighter, so probably not. Usually, okay. <laughs> YouTubers do boxing only because it is about the money. Oh yeah, I mean right. they're they're celebrities, the people. Just, they're well, it's a show. Yeah, it's, it's for entertainment. Yeah, literally, it's yeah, what entertainment. it is. And like they they're willing to get knocked around a little bit to make a nice little payday, so can't be really mad at it. But no. So interesting. We'll see. Have you guys seen? Actually, you brought it up, so you have seen. I know you have. But let's just talk about the uh, crate milk crate challenge. Ooh. Good <laughs> night. What are people doing to themselves these days? That is just absurd, dude. Can I was watching explain it to our audience. Caleb, go ahead. He told okay, me about so, it. Okay, like, so I'm sure most of you know what a milk crate is. It's a plastic box with an opening that people used to really carry milk jars in. And they're stacking them like a pyramid in, in like single rows. And people are literally having to walk to the top and down to the bottom. But what ends up happening is milk crates are very unstable. And so they'll be, they'll be about like eight milk crates high. They really <laughs> fall. Like they're falling at 15 feet, scorpioning themselves, probably like going to the ER. Like people are like breaking their necks. It's like insane. Like landing on yeah, the landing, milk crates. Landing on the milk crates, breaking their backs. Like, like the crates are, it's insane. Like I don't know if we can insert a clip of one of the challenges in the podcast or the something. Video, probably. Yep. Yeah. Drew, go. Yeah. Thanks, but, Drew. Yeah, thanks, Drew. Like, see right there? Like, that is just brutal. Oh. Brutal. Would you do that? <sighs> like I said earlier for boxing, how much are you going to pay me? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't, honestly, I don't think I would because you're literally risking your life. Oops. What in the... <laughs> Sorry. No, like, Bump the button. You're actually, like, putting yourself in danger. Like, like from the falls I've seen, like, there are, there are falls that where you could literally paralyze yourself. Especially yeah. these older people yeah. doing it. Like, what in the world? I saw a uh, police officer do one. I saw this lady in high heels. Oh but my. she didn't fall. She completed what? it. I was like, That's pretty impressive. What? Yeah, I don't know. It's just... Ricky Island just did it. Granted, mm-hmm. the milk crate boxes were way wider. Oh, that's cheating. But he did it across the whole thing. Mm-hmm. That was, like, impressive. Mm-hmm. But now we got to see him do it on a normal milk yeah, crate. Yeah, I want to see normal yeah. milk crate, and I want to see him fall. Sorry. I mean, that's why you watch it. That's why you watch it. I don't watch you to see it do it. I watch you to eat crap. (laughs) It's pretty entertaining. Have you seen some of those highlights? Yeah, it's insane. Brutal. They are brutal. Would you do it, Andrew? I'm with Caleb. I would. I would like want to do it, but also, if it if there's like a chance of like just kind of like minor injuries, I'd be like, all right, let's send it. But like the major injury is like probably going to happen. Then I'm like, "Eh." just don't think the risk outweighs the reward. (laughs) Yeah. Like okay. yeah, like what? when you complete it, what happens? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, cool, you did it. You just didn't die. <laughs> yeah, you didn't go to the ER, or break any bones. So that's just a strange new trend. How did that even come about? How did I don't I mean probably just some some idiot. <laughs> I think I saw. I'm not sure if it was like a original, but uh, it was like these people saying like, "Here's how we play Olympics in the hood, like <laughs> Olympic games in the hood." And they're oh, really? all like, they have a big crowd around them, Dang. and like they're cheering for each other. Yeah, I don't, like, know. I don't know. It probably was just some like. Well, that's how stuff person, goes yeah. like trendy and viral. It's like one person's just doing it for just some do. other reason. And someone else is like, I could try that. And then when you see how funny the falls are, it's like boom. Yeah, exactly. But that's what's interesting about trends. It's like that looks intriguing. It's like I kind of want to try it, 
uh-uh. but it's so dangerous. <laughs> it's like everyone wants to try it because they're like, oh, I want to complete that. But they end up, everyone, yeah. mo- the majority of people end up failing. But that's why it goes viral because it's painful and funny. <laughs> and that's what most people are thinking about in their head. They're like, oh, I could do that. Like, I'm not going to get hurt because I know I can do it. Yeah. You know, and then they do it and then they get to the top of the egg cartons and, and those things start oh. to wobble. <laughs> He, I think here's where we have the upper hand. Most people, if they hadn't seen these challenges beforehand, like highlights, like if I didn't see these videos and you just had crates out in the front yard, I might try it. Yeah. But now that I've seen yeah. these videos, I'm like, okay, no chance. Mm-hmm. Like maybe some of the peep, peeps on the team, if we sh- if we just had them out in front, be like, I bet you can't complete this. They try it. Well, yeah, why, what are yeah. we doing here? It's kind of unassuming. <laughs> it's, it looks really innocent. Just. Does. Going up, climbing up some it's like milk cartons. Upstairs. It looks like you're going yeah, upstairs. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what could happen? And if you fall, I mean, it's not like that high. So it's like you assume, like, if I fall, I could just, like, use my feet and land yeah. on my feet. Uh-uh. And most of these people, like, your feet go out, then you smack more of the cartons oh. on your way down and land on them and probably bruise ribs, just, break Because ribs, the cartons whatever. don't move. No, they're, they're, like, they're, they're solid, solid plastic. plastic. <laughs> so your just, body just, like... <laughs> it just makes my back hurt thinking about it. Oh, ow. Yeah, so... I'm not going to try that challenge unless I'm just, we set it up on a bunch of pads. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I gave you guys an idea on how we could do it. I'm not going to spoil it just in case we do want to do it. Well, we should do it. Yeah. Do it really. for a YouTube short. Let's, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Do it. Might as well. What's do the next it. trend? I mean, something that can, we can do, but it's not like ER painful. Yeah. Let me think of like a trend. The next trend. The next one. Yeah. Eating a whole banana without chewing. Mm. Oh, man, that sounds... That's just not... Mm-mm. I'm not going to try that one either. Nah. <laughs> Eating raw eggs with the shell. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, my. These are just keep, ideas. Yeah, keep brainstorming. Okay, I think I'll, I'll think, but I'll let you yeah, guys we'll, know. Yeah, we'll meet Th- back later. <laughs> those aren't even really that painful, though. You said they don't have to be painful. But I want maybe oh, slightly painful pain? where it's like there's some risk involved. Okay, I got to rethink But that. not ER mode. Not ER, just stitches. Not even that. <laughs> just like some bruises. Okay. So, well, hey. I don't, yeah. We'll maybe discuss the uh, brand new viral trend ideas we come up with on the next podcast. Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, should we do a prank call? Classic OG, gotta call GameStop prank call. Sure. Sure. Oh, I'm sure. GameStop, if you want to sponsor us, we're available. All right, what do, what's going to be our, uh, what are we asking about? Oh, man. I was wondering if you had any, um, I lost it. I, <laughs> I, I had it and I lost it. <laughs> like, maybe we get, sir, are you there? The milk yeah. crate video game? <laughs> uh, we could just ask them if they have milk crates. We're trying to do the challenge. Yeah. Thank you for calling GameStop, where the more you trade, the more you can save. This is Justin. How much we save today? Hey, my name's Justin, too. Nice. What's going on, man? Hey, I was just wondering if you guys had any milk crates. We're wanting to do the milk crate challenge. Uh, unfortunately, we don't do milk crates. Uh, you'd probably want to talk to Smith about it as far as that one. Smith? Who's that? Um, let me double check. Um, I'll get you their phone number. One second. Okay. Oh, man. Let's see. I would say I don't have it. Yeah, just Google it and you'll be able to find it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Not really. Actually, we had uh, one more. I didn't know if you could bring me something real quick or if you had these. Yeah, what's um, up? I need you to bring me pictures of Spider-Man! Hang up. Hang up on the mic. <laughs> Oh, so, it, it was so funny in my head, and then as soon as I said it, I was so uncomfortable. <laughs> it was like a middle schooler prank call. Hang up, dude. Hang up, hang up. Dude, hang up. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, that was epic. Oh, oh, man. I feel. Bring me pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> oh, wow. That was epic. <laughs> I hope. Hope he got a laugh out of that. <laughs> oh, he did. He either got a laugh or he's more mad now. <laughs> yeah. I guess wow. you'd call Smiths. I never heard of Smiths. Here we go. Trampoline versus giant water balloon. Oh my gosh, here we go. This might be GameStop calling back. All right, answer. Oh my god. Hello? Uh, sorry, we don't live in Utah. No thanks. Bye. 
No thanks. What the heck? Dang it, I wish I was on the... What in the world? How would that be illegal? How can you clarify as a prank call versus... Hey, we did just want pictures of Spider-Man. You didn't have any. Yeah. <laughs> Charges for threats. The police are going to be showing up in an hour, guys. Sheesh. All right. Man. Holy cow. You better get out of here. <laughs> 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 It's going to show up. It's just going to be like Drew in the basement. I I don't know what's going on, sir. You guys prank call GameStop. You're going to prison. (laughs) That's it. Come with me. We get a call to bail out Drew. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to refrain from... For calling. Good evening. Hello? Hello? Hey, do you guys have milk crates? Um, We do. You'll have to ask the dairy department oh do they have a number can you transfer me hello hey you there (laughs) (laughs) good evening hello dairy department hey have you seen the uh, milk crate challenge yeah we we can't give them away oh well how much are they um, we don't sell them either. Then how do I get them? Um, you have to go through like Creamland and stuff like that because that's their 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 property. They they're not ours. Oh man, we send them back to them. Well, are you guys at the store going to do like an employee only version? No, we we don't do that. No crate challenge or nothing. What what challenges do you typically do then? We don't do any. Oh, well, what do you guys do then? We, we stock the milk and <laughs> sell it. <laughs> oh, well, I bet you guys could do something. Yeah, some- yeah, yeah. You could do something. Yeah, we, we don't do no challenges like that. Interesting. Have uh, you done the gallon I'm challenge? Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Uh uh-uh. uh. All right. All right. What? <laughs> oh, oh my! We he, don't we don't do anything. They could do something with milk. Do a new milk challenge. They could be the inventors of a new challenge, guys. If there's a new challenge that originates in the internet that involves milk, it's going to be that guy. Yep, we got his brain thinking. Yep. Yeah, I could do something. Like, man, all I do is stock milk. There's got to be more. Stock it. <laughs> sell it. Ah, must have challenges. <laughs> What then? What do you do? <laughs> hey, stock it. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, guys, thanks for uh, listening to today's podcast. Was a fun one. Stay on the tune of the lookout of more Caleb videos. Yeah, is that a proper sentence? That was a great sentence. Thanks. It was a great sentence. You're gonna have to keep trying. Okay, I'll keep working on it for next episode. Okay, next episode. Anyways, bye. Goodbye. Man, I can't wait for the police to show up. Oh, me neither. Let's get the heck out of here. Laugh daily.